mom life, like literally all over the place. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you saying hi? Oh, you're saying hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cloth diaper update. Yes, I still am cloth diapering and it has taken me, I guess, six months from my first day cloth diapering video <laughs> to post this update. So she is exactly eight months old today and I think I started cloth diapering when she was two months old. I have learned a lot and changed a lot, which is why my video is just now being posted. So if you guys have not seen that first video with my first day cloth diapering, I basically went through like 24, maybe 30 hours worth of cloth diapering and showed my like first experience doing it because when I was researching cloth diapering videos there weren't very many from new beginners you know they're all like pros who've been doing it for like years so I'm still new to this and I'm still figuring things out a month or so ago she just started food and I actually did switch her over to formula so her poo is different which is an entirely different thing with washing them so I still have all the same cloth diapers the same Alba baby I have four packs of six and the inserts and I do have the sat cloths and the bamboo liners which I think I used all of them so far because I only have four bamboo liners I'm pretty sure I've used all of them. I do now finally understand the nighttime routine, making sure that she doesn't leak out. I know how to do the rise and all that stuff. So if all of this is brand new to you, I will explain it in this video because a lot of people were commenting on my last video and basically explaining and walking me through things, you know, learning from the pros in the comment section of that last video. So first thing in the morning, after I change her out of her nighttime diaper, I always put in two inserts into the cloth diaper. My oldest daughter will be five next week and we take her to school in the morning. So just in case we stop anywhere on the way back from dropping her off, I wanna make sure that she's in two liners just in case. The one thing that everyone kept commenting on in my last video because I was experiencing leaking and whatnot and they just seemed too big. Again, she was like two months old at the time. I figured it out now. I'm still using the same rise setting. The rise is just moving it up basically to fit the size of your child. So I use the highest one actually. So I just fold mine all the way up and male, female part like that all the way across the line and that cinches up and then that way the diaper fits more snug as opposed to being like loose. Since I do have to change her right now, during the day, I'll put her in one insert after her morning change. Basically just do that same pattern every couple of hours after that. But since I do have to change her right now, I'm gonna put her in another single insert. The diaper she's been in right now, it is one o'clock. She's been in this diaper since we changed her at 8.30. Oh, so this lasted four hours, five hours? I'm not good at math. Anywhere from two to four hours basically and that's on two inserts. So I'm gonna change her to one now. My whole changing the diaper routine is still the same as if it were I was using regular throwaway diapers. The only thing that's difficult is when she's turning. I'm not good at like changing her like I used to be where you could just like, you know, you didn't have to look at the diaper to change her. So I'm not as good without that when she wants to turn around and start crawling. And she does like to kick a lot, which is kind of like terrible when I'm changing a poopy diaper because she'll always kick her feet into the poop and that's not okay. <laughs> but it fits so much better now because it goes right around her little leg. Before it used to be like, you know, all the way out to here. Yeah, I know, I know. For a nighttime diaper, I have two different ways. I'll use two inserts and then I'll use a sackcloth. I'll link the video where I learned how to do the fold for this. So basically you just fold it. I don't know, like an envelope. This is one of the cloth diapers. One insert, another insert. Line them up together. This sackcloth, I think these are about six or eight dollars at Walmart. This is how I was taught. You just fold it half. Bring it almost halfway, bring it back, fold it, and then I just fold it over. And then it should be the same length as the two inserts. Yeah, slide them inside and the inserts are always gonna be on the top and make sure it's fully flat to go all the way inside. I like the other way better when I'm using the bamboo insert just because it's flatter, but they still both hold the same. And then I'll usually cloth diaper to there and she wears it all night long. And then the other one that I'll do is three inserts and then a bamboo insert. So I'll show you guys that. I don't have to change her at all overnight. Usually I'll put her in that nighttime diaper around, usually around eight. And then it lasts all the way up until about eight the next day. So basically, yeah, like 12 hours. Otherwise, when it comes to washing, I'll show you guys what we use. We went through using Glade at first and I didn't really like using that. And then we started using Dawn and Vinegar, but I got really lazy with the you know proportions and whatnot. So then we switched to our homemade laundry soap powder. I don't know. 
it wasn't fully getting like the whole smell out when we started implementing food into her diet. So we are using Tide like everybody else has already suggested. So we're filing on that boat. So all I do is take all the dirty diapers and put them in the wash. So here's one of the bamboo inserts that I was talking about. Of course it's obviously dirty, but you see how thin it is compared to like the sack cloth that's folded a couple times. I prefer using those, but those cost way more than the sack cloths. And I try to do her cloth diapers every couple of days. I should be doing every other day like I was when I first started cloth diapering. I've been doing it every couple of days lately. And these were the two poopy diapers that we had to rinse out. And we finally have two of these now. So I'll turn it inside out and then wash this one and then use the other black one that we have to collect the rest of the diapers. Turn it on and I'll do it on normal wash, soil level on heavy a medium spin. Sometimes I'll do cool, warm, I kind of go back and forth. This is the first wash, and then I'll do basically the same thing when I add in Tide the second time. We're still learning how to use the sprayer that we just installed on our toilet. We purchased this from Amazon and let me tell you, installing this was like a nightmare. We had this thing for about a month and my husband was so enthusiastic to actually install it. This one's there's a way you can shorten this. I don't think there is. I think it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? He didn't want to install it at all just because our house is brand new construction so he was paranoid about it being installed correctly but you can self install this and it does come with directions from Amazon so it's really kind of self explanatory and I was really tired of scraping poop like this off with napkins by hand. It was so unsanitary and I was just so tired of getting all my fingers and this has been so much easier. It's really easy to use but you do have to you know work with your toilet depending on which kind you have. So I'm still trying to get the hang of actually using it and making sure the poop doesn't go outside the toilet and stays in the toilet like it should. We're in Maya's bathroom, well the girls' bathroom, and we still do have diapers, regular diapers up here. We have two of them as backup, and we ended up buying them as backup when we had to travel to Delaware a month or two ago. We decided to use those instead so I have to worry about carrying dirty cloth diapers on the plane and back and forth. But it was so nerve-wracking when we were in Delaware and I was using regular diapers again because I couldn't really sleep overnight. It was kind of like a peace of mind with having cloth diapers because I didn't have to worry about having to change her throughout the night. I think I had to go back to waking up every couple of hours to change her and I hadn't had to do that in a long time. That was kind of annoying, but they are backup. And we still do have these, like during the church when she gets changed. I keep forgetting to put this back on my bag, but we do have two of these still. So it's still a work in progress, which is why this video is taking so long, but I am still cloth diapering. I'll link everything that I've used in the description box below, as well as links to the last video. Well, my first video with cloth diapering. If you guys have any questions or advice, please leave that in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching.